All right, so we're back here with our paint. Um, obviously, we have a couple different brands. I'm going to focus on Ben Moore today. Um, this is Ben Moore Ultra Spec. This is a prep high build primer. So anytime we do um, any of the masonry work, anything like that, where we need to kind of build up the primer a little bit more, this is a thicker primer. And uh, I wouldn't recommend, unless you have a bigger machine, I wouldn't put it in your Wagner's cordless power sprayer and spray this out. Definitely roll it out, get a nice thick coat, and let it build up. Um, that'll kind of seal any of the crevices, anything like that, and make your paint job look a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. Um, so this is Cord, uh, let me see here. This is Coronado. Um, it does not carry the Benmore name. We get it from our Benmore rep. Um, so it's, it's a very nice primer. If we were gonna prime inside and there was no huge issues, we weren't doing any masonry or anything like that, then we're gonna use this stuff. We got a red wall, we're gonna put a nice thick coat of this stuff on, and then we're gonna put two top coats on it. This'll, this'll basically do job of a normal primer. It's just a PVA primer, um, really basic, really cheap. Uh, this will probably run you about $180 for the five. So realistically, it's not a huge expense, but it definitely does a lot of work. So it's, it's always good to prime. Prime before you paint, prime before you paint. I can't stress that enough. Um, this stuff's a little bit more expensive. I'm probably looking at the 220 range. Ultra spec is I'll go into it a little bit later, but Ultra Spec is the con contractor grade, um, contractor grade line that Benmore carries. It's still a great paint, um, but we use a little bit higher end paint. But we do use the Ultra Spec High Belt Primer. It's the best primer that we've we've come across with Benmore. Um, this is Ben Interior Paint. So, oh, that's full. Um, so this is the Benmore Interior Paint. Uh, it's it's Ben. So basically, you're going to go Ultra Spec. Uh, contractor grade stuff. Then you're gonna go to the Ben. Ben is Ben is your first line of DIY um, DIY stuff. So I use the DIY stuff because it, it gives you a better finish. It's a little bit thicker product, and the colors are a little bit more vibrant. I think they switched to Gen X technology. So Gen X, you're gonna hear them talk about. We have Gen X. We have Gen X. Well, Gen X means that the colors are richer and the colors aren't gonna fade. Um, over time like they like they did in older paints. Uh, this is a water-based product. They're all water-based products and this is the stuff that we that we use for our interiors for any kind of spec houses or custom home builds unless we're asked to use something better which would be your Regals or your Auras. So right now this is a really great product and then we'll kind of go into the Regals and the Auras um, back here. <coughs> Uh, so this is behind the paint booth. We just kind of keep the extra paint that we had from jobs um, in case someone needs to know a color. Um, we get them labeled on the top, all the jobs. So our shop guy knows, somehow he knows where everything's at. Um, so let's start with Aura. This is a Aura can. So Aura is, an, it's a water-based interior paint. Um, it's a great product. Benmore uh, loves this product. It is about eighty to ninety dollars a gallon, depending on what where you're at. I don't think it's worth it, not for a DIY person. So if you're going to go and paint in your house and you're going to go to a Benmore store, I would I would I would stray from Aura just because the dry time's so fast that you're not going to actually work fast enough. If you got like five guys trying to paint the room, then absolutely that might be something that you want to try. Um, but you're gonna end up with the same results with the Regal or even multi, multi coats of Ben. This says that it's gonna, you only have to one coat it. Um, I'm just being perfectly honest with you guys. I have never not had to two coat anything. I don't care how good the paint is. Um, even if it's, even if it does kind of cover and it looks decent, I, I will always two coat stuff. So you always wanna two coat things. So it doesn't really matter how much you pay for the paint. Um, ben Moore itself is a great brand. It's something that I, I really like. So, but as far as Aura goes, we hardly ever use Aura. It dry, in my opinion, it dries too fast. There's not enough open time. You can't spray it. And for DIY guys, it's just, it's too much. It, it's, it's too much for those guys. So I don't, I would stay away from that. Um, if you're looking at painting a door or something, this is a great product by Ben Moore. It's called Command. It is a waterborne acrylic urethane. 
So it acts like a urethane and, or it does the same thing as like the old urethanes did. It sticks to almost anything. I haven't found anything that it hasn't really stuck to. And it's a waterborne product. So waterborne means you can clean up with soap and water and you're not gonna have those nasty chemicals. VOC wise, um, a lot lower than your actual typical urethane products. Um, let's see here, what else we got? So we have the exterior stuff. So this has been, this has been more exterior. It's been exterior, they actually got rid of this product. So this product no longer exists. It's now Element Guard. Um, and I have yet to, I haven't really had a chance to use Element Guard, so I can't really tell you how good it is. I can tell you like this stuff, it, it's a two coat process, but it, you will end up with a good finish with it. The best product I have for um, Benmore exterior is this Benmore Regal Select exterior. It's, um, it's got a lifetime warranty on it. it is, it's a great product. I, it carries the same warranty as the Aura does, and it's about $30, $35 less per gallon. So this is definitely a product I look at and I would, I would definitely choose. Um, I think now that I think, actually, yeah, we do have a thing at Element Guard right here and it does come with the lifetime warranty. It's not as big, limited lifetime warranty on this. And this one just says lifetime warranty. So you're just gonna have to ask your Ben Moore rep what limited and what lifetime, what the difference is uh, on that. But I mean, just to be able to give it a lifetime warranty on a lower end paint, still a great paint, but on the price range, the lower end to be able to give a lifetime warranty, that means they really stand behind their product. Uh, we have had to use a lifetime warranty and they do. They stand behind it. They paid for, we got, um, they paid for our labor and they paid for the cost of paint to redo something when we had a batch kind of fail. The rep came out, looked at it. There was really no hassle with it. He looked at it and said, yeah, this didn't stick. It's the paint's fault. You guys applied it right. Um, we'll redo it. And they talked to the customer, explained what was going on, and it made the process so much easier. Because if I would have walked into that customer and said, yeah, the paint's failed and we're trying to work on it, um, I don't know what kind of reaction I would have got. But with the Benmore rep stepping up and saying, hey, um, this is what happened and we're going to take care of it. We're going to work with Ben and make sure that it's taken care of in a timely manner. Um, that, was, that was extremely helpful. So, and that is one thing that I will give Ben Moore credit for. Ben Moore, ben Moore is um, franchised. So, a, like a single person, like anybody can own a Ben Moore and they're gonna, they're gonna be at that store consistently. So that means if they're at their store consistently, they're gonna get consistent colors. Your same guy's gonna be mixing paint, your same guy's gonna be shaking your paint. So he knows if you shake it for two minutes or five minutes or what you, what you prefer. And he's gonna be a lot more helpful. Um, and I shouldn't say that when I go to Sherman Williams or something, I'm not getting help, I'm getting help. But it's the same guy and I have a cell phone number and I can call him anytime. I'm, I'm lucky enough with this Ben Moore rep, I've called him 11 o'clock at night and in a panic and he's ran to the, ran to the store and got me paint. So uh, definitely love Ben Moore for that. And uh, shout out to Robert at our paint store because he does a great job. Um, Arbor Coat Ben Moore product. We use the oil base in South Dakota. Um, we also use some other stuff. We use Mesmer, Superdeck, but just to focus on Arbor Coat. Arbor Coat is a tint base. So you can buy these tint based things and make basically any color you want. Um, or they have pre-tint, which is like your cedars, your uh, naturals. So basically like your reds, browns, dark browns, um, your basic colors. And we can tint off that as well. But uh, tin, ba tin based products are, are really good, especially in the oil, because you can get close to any color you want. Um, Arbor Coat also makes a water-based product. The difference between water and oil, and I get to ask this a lot, and I think um, we have a, another video out there that um, uh, Jordan tried to do. Um, I think she's on the blooper reel. Never got it out, but um, so oil is going to sit into the wood. So what's going to happen is you're going to put it on, and then it's going to kind of like disappear because the wood's actually soaking that up. And if you are ha if you're doing it, or if you're having someone do it, and you watch them put one thing of stain on it and walk away, that's probably not as protected as it should be. You should actually apply the stain until it almost doesn't, until it doesn't saturate anymore, until it doesn't get sucked up anymore. Wood gets extremely thirsty, especially as it dries out. So you might put something on and it might disappear and it might look dry again. If it looks dry again, put another coat on, you know, and you might have to put two or three or four coats on. And we've done houses where we've, we've been ready to pack up. We looked and we're like, oh, 
this whole section is is dry already. You know, you don't have that shiny, glistening look. You have a dry spot. So you're going up there and you want to make sure that you're putting enough stain on there where the wood's absorbing it, you're back brushing. So if you are spraying with a Wagner, um, don't just spray it and let it soak in because it's going to drip off. You want to spray it and brush it in and then see what you're see where you're at and then spray it and brush it in again. And like I said, sometimes you're going to go out and you're going to go, oh, this spot needs more, this spot needs more until you get a nice even coat. And it, it is going to look shiny for a couple days and then it'll tone down after that. Um, but with the water-based stuff, it's going to sit on top of the wood. So it's basically like a paint. It's like you're painting wood. So around here we get hail, we get all kinds of weather. If you're in like Southern California, this is a great option for you because you're not, you're not dealing with a lot of the weather or anything like that. Um, also, I don't think you can put, if I remember right, you can't put oil-based product in there. But a water-based product, um, this is going to sit on top of the wood. And as soon as it starts to chip and get that water underneath, you're going to have to redo it. You're going to have to sand it. You're gonna, it's going to look, it's not going to look as clean. So if you're really looking for that wood cabin feel, you got to go with oil. Um, General Finishes out of Wisconsin does a really good product. Um, it's a smaller store and uh, the quantity from what we can get is a little bit limited. So we do use the Benmore Arbor Coat quite a bit. And uh, that General Finishes is a waterborne product and it kind of does seep into the wood a little bit. Hey guys, so that's pretty much all I have for paint. Uh, just one last thing, don't let color deter you from, if it's a Sherwin-Williams color, it's a Benmore color, whatever product you do decide on, um, the colors are interchangeable. So just go to your Benmore guy, go to your Sherman Williams guy, whoever you do choose, and say you want this color from this brand, they can get it, they'll mix it, and it'll look identical. Um, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you got any questions, just comment at the bottom, um, or if you have any suggestions that we could do better on the next video, comment in the bottom. All right, thanks guys.